Hey guys, it's Savante and I am super excited. I got another video and it's another one. This is the second one. I did a video like a few months ago. Um, that was my very first video, just doing like self care and um, inspirational videos like that. And I'm really, really excited about uh, this next journey of me on my YouTube journey. Me and my boyfriend just moved into our brand new apartment. It's what we've been working on and we've been really excited about that. So that's why it's no furniture in here. It looks like a dance studio. But yeah, but today we're talking about people pleasing. And we're going to be getting our needs met. So what, where does people pleasing come from? So it basically comes from normally from your childhood um, when you're growing up. Um, you probably grew up in a very chaotic household where you felt like Maybe if I wasn't a problem, there wouldn't be a problem. There wouldn't be a problem, but it was always going to be that problem, you know, because you were growing up in a household where it wasn't a, it wasn't your fault. So you becoming less of a problem didn't do anything anyways, but you felt like it was going to do something at that very young age. And as you grow, you still keep those people pleasing tendencies. And you grow with that six-year-old self, you grow with that 10-year-old self, you grow with that 13-year-old self into an adult. And it's constantly the set of battle of maybe if I become less accommodating, everybody will like me. And when people like me, I won't have any issues and people won't be violent towards me or whatever feelings of anxiousness that you get, that you used to get when you were a child. I don't know if you ever heard this, but your body keeps score. So all of those anxious feelings that you were getting when you were a kid, and you, you hold on to that baggage, and now you're, you're, you're still feeling like you have to survive when you don't have to survive anymore. You don't have to keep a extremely aggressive people in your life anymore. You can move away from that. If someone doesn't respect your no, then they gotta go. If someone doesn't respect you no, they gotta go. I mean, that's for you. Then maybe some of us have been in this situation. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So look at people pleasing like this, right? So you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, a significant other, and it is your birthday. They buy you some ugly pink shoes. You hate these shoes. You hate them. You was, you was. You was with your homegirls or your homeboys the other day, and you was talking about how ugly these shoes were. But your boyfriend doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. He didn't say anything, right? So he is in the store, and he goes, and he buys you these pink shoes. He like, oh, baby is going to love this. She is going to love this. So he come home, and he like, baby, I got you a gift. I got you a gift. And you're like, oh, what is it? What is it? And... You open it up and you see these ugly pink shoes. And you hate them, but you so you're such a young people pleasing bag that you're like, oh man, thanks, thanks. I love them. Oh my god, I love them so much. These are the best shoes ever. You you try them on. You like, oh these cute. Oh my god, these some cute fire shoes. Oh these cute. But you put those shoes in your closet and they collecting the you like, oh, okay, I'm gonna keep on buying her some pink shoes. She love them. So it's Valentine's Day, right? And he buy you some, he buy you some pink shoes and they're in a different style. And you're like, oh my God. And and he give them to you. And he's like, and you're like, oh my God. He, thank you, babe. Thank you. I appreciate you. Even though the last pink shoes is collecting us, you never, you don't even work out in them. You hate those shoes. You don't even run errands in those other shoes. But now he got you some more because he's thinking, oh, the last pink shoes was in here. Let me buy these. Talking to your best friend, your sister, your mom, and you're like, he doesn't even, he's not even paying attention. He doesn't see that I'm not wearing these shoes at all. Like, pay attention to me. What? But did you even once say, hey, babe, thank you so much for thinking about me. But in all actuality, I don't really like these shoes too much. They're just really not my vibe. I mean, maybe we can return them and exchange them for something else. He, he shouldn't get mad at you for saying that. That's something that you shouldn't get mad at. I'm done with the whole, it's the thought that counts thing. If I'm clearly speaking up, I don't want you to waste your money. And I don't want you to waste your time. So let me tell you what I want so you can get them. Hey, I love you. Thank you so much for thinking about me. But these pink shoes, I just really don't like. 
but maybe we can get something else and that fits me better. That's not really my style. I'm more into, you know, white or greener, like just whatever. We are all about getting our needs met this season. That's it. We're all about getting our needs met this season. It's the death of being accommodating, okay? We can't be accommodating at all points of our life. People are never gonna know who we truly are. When you are scared of confrontation and you're scared of telling people how you feel about things, they're never going to know you. And all you're doing is creating resentment because you never talk about your feelings and how you truly feel until you boil over and you explode. And I've done that a few times before. Really close people looking at me thinking I'm one way and I'm creating this anger towards them because I'm like, this is not who I am. I like this, not that. Do you really truly know me? But I've never said anything that you speak of. And they silence you. You said, no, I don't like this. I don't like X, Y, Z, or stop. I don't like when you do this. And they're like, oh, you tripping. Oh, you be sensitive. Oh my God, so many times I've been sensitive, been called sensitive. Oh, you just doing too much. Oh, I can't live with you. Oh, I'm just not gonna say anything. Those are gaslighting uh, words. Oh, I'm just not gonna say anything. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're being sensitive. Have you heard those words before? Anytime you hear that, you better run, run. Because those people, they need some healing to do themselves. And if you don't run, they gonna give you a A whooping of a lifetime mentally. Because you're gonna be constantly arguing with yourself constantly arguing with yourself about how they they not getting it and every time they call you you you're just like oh i gotta answer the phone but you're so in your people pleasing back that you answer the phone when you really didn't want to answer the phone at all you want to just get away from them or if you're really bad you may ghost them so now you can ghost to them and you need people pleasing bad so now you feel like guilty i've been going to therapy right so i'm really excited about this I've been going to therapy, mixing it with the Bible, and I'm just, ugh, I recommend. So, I've been going to therapy, and my therapist said, just because I was telling her about a really close person that I stopped talking to, and I was like, sometimes I feel guilty. Like, I feel really guilty about it. But I don't feel bad about it. I feel guilty, but I really, really don't feel bad about it. I'm really happy and free from it. And she was like, it's okay to feel guilty. Guiltiness shows humility that you're humble. But sometimes don't let the guilt stop you from doing what you got to do. All guiltiness does is show your humility. But don't let that stop you from doing what you have to do. You may feel guilty about telling your boyfriend or girlfriend, I don't like these pink shoes. Oh, they went out their way, they spent money. But if you're not really, to have any use for these pink shoes. And they're thinking you're this one way. Who is winning at all? Who is who is getting anything out of this at all? Now, if you tell them that I don't like these shoes, can you get something else? Next time, for the next time, they can be like, okay, I'm gonna get my, my baby some brown sandals because I know she loves, she said she loves brown sandals, so I'm going to get her some brown sandals. Now, he's winning because he feels good and he still gets to do what he wants to do, which is give you something and honor you as his girlfriend and gift to you. And now you're actually enjoying the gift now. Why are you enjoying the gift now? One of the side effects to people pleasing is emotional exhaustion. Um, I know I dealt with this a lot because Every time I want to leave from certain people, yes, energy vampires are a thing, period, they are. But every time I would get from a group of people or talk to someone, I would feel so exhausted. Like I even came off of a 12 hour shift and I'm like, what happened? It's only because I was on. I was putting a character on. See, when you people please, you put on a mask. You're masking your personality. So you're constantly acting. You're constantly acting for Hollywood at this point. You're constantly putting on whatever facade you have to put on for that particular 
crowd of people or that person constantly in an interview and now you didn't cut them off because you ain't really expressed your needs that whole day. You didn't express your needs that whole day. You didn't express um, your wants that whole day. You didn't say really two, three, barely two, three words that whole day. I was such in a people pleasing bag that I was quiet. When I'm not really quiet, when I get in my bag for real. But I'm quiet. And the only reason why I was quiet, I wasn't even shy. I wasn't, I wasn't even shy. I just felt like I didn't have any value to conversation. Whoever was gonna be the leader was gonna be the leader for that day. And I just was here to lie. I'm like, I am a leader. I'm a leader for God. I am God's child. And I only serve one God. Why do I why do I have to follow you? Why do I have to follow what you want me to do? And you my age. Or forget you my age. You ain't my God. You're not my God. You're not my God. You're not. The Bible says, fear of man is a snare. I learned this from another creative. She was talking about people pleasing as well. A snare, when you when you look it up in the dictionary, means it's a trap. People are fickle. People, you cannot trust people. You cannot trust people to lead you any kind of way because they're fickle. One way they're like this, one way they're like that. I mean, you see it yourself when you look in the mirror. You're one way this way, you're one way that way. You cannot trust people. It's going to be a trap. You just, you're just graduating you're out of college and everybody's telling you, oh, take a year off. Oh, go to medical school. Oh, go to nursing school. Oh, start a business. Oh, do this, do that. What do you want to do? And now you're finding yourself confused as all get out because you didn't listen to 50 million people and now you're not doing anything at all. And I once was that girl. Listen to everybody. And everybody felt like their opinion was the one that mattered the most. Everybody felt like their opinion was the one that mattered the most. But what about what you felt like? What did, what did God tell you on January 15, 2020, 2020 about what your plan was for your life? You know, what was your destiny? What did, what did he say to you? What did you always want to do? What's been something that you keep going back to and you never stop going back to it, no matter how many times you quit? So I have one scripture that I want to leave with and then we'll be done. So it is Galatians 1.10. Or do I now persuade men or God or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I shall not be the servant of Christ. So God is literally telling you in his word, if I seek to please men, I should not be a follower of Christ. God said you only serve one God, period. You got one life to live. No more getting anxious with other human beings. I know it takes a lot of time because I'm working on it myself. I told you earlier I'm in charity and in my word, I'm rebattling this together. At the end of the day, your needs is the most important thing. And you gotta put them before anybody. As long as you got God first, put your needs first, put yourself first, get yourself love. All right, it's been real. It's a one time to read. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like, comment, and subscribe, okay? You have a great day. Be blessed. Bye.